Hello friend, this is Virender and welcome to Tuesland.com. Today we are going to cover a very important concept in CSS which is of classes and IDs. So let's open Dreamweaver. Okay, so what we are working recently comes here. Let's open them. Line.html. That's okay. So that's what we had created last time. If you see that this is the HTML file and this was the our external CSS file. So save it in head F12. This was our rendered result. But as you can see that in our internal and external uh, tutorials uh, and internal and external stylish methods, we haven't uh, uh, used different color for these three different words as we had done in our internal method inline method so in our inline method we had uh, given cascading a red color style a green and sheets a blue color but in internal and in our external method we had given them the same color and why is that why we can't give them three different colors uh, there's a reason behind it and the reason is because here if you go you will find out that we are giving a color blue and a background of yellow to only the span tag and as all these three words that is the cascading the style and the sheets all these three words having the span tag so all these three words will be able to take the effects of the span CSS style so um, so there there needs to be something which will uh, differentiate between these three words and and hence we can uh, apply different effects over these three words and that's where we use the classes and the IDs so let's have a look that's how we can use classes so we type class equals and here you give the name of the class in uh, this so type anything like R give it a class like G okay and in a similar way give it a class named B so I had given them a class name of RGB which is stands for red green and blue always name your classes some somehow reasonable because um, which makes some sense otherwise um, it will lead to confusion later on if you are working on some complex process or some huge web uh, development processes so uh, okay now as these three uh, span tags have three different classes named RGB now you can color them on the basis of their class not on the basis of their having a span tag so our color needs to be red uh, G color needs to be green and B color needs to be blue so what it's saying is and remember that the classes always comes with a dot at first and then uh, at, as a prefix uh, so whenever there's a dot always consider it as a class and whenever there is no dot so that's mean that it's using a tag okay so as in here we are using p which means that this is a paragraph tag but dot b dot g dot r as they have prefix dot so that's mean they are classes so now if you save it and you hit f12 save changes to inline yes so you can see red is cascading style is green and sheets is blue so now we had given um, three different colors on the basis of three different classes in a similar way we can give them more classes and uh, for example let me create another class called dot p and for this increase the font size to be 48 pixels save it and uh, now you can apply more than one 
classes to a single element. For example, uh, if I want to apply the span tag of cascading uh, with uh, two different classes, so I simply give it a space and type OK. So here comes an um, menu saying B, G, P, R, which are the number of available classes we have on, in our style sheet. Uh, right now I need P, so click here P. So it says that this span class span tag will use the R class and the P class. And if you save it and hit F12, so have a look. So it becomes red because of the class R and it becomes huge of font size 40 pixels because of the class P. So that's what that's how we work with the classes. Uh, same class can be applied to different elements and uh, one one tag can be uh, applied with more than one classes so if you want to increase the size of blue also you can also apply the p to it and save it and if you hit alt tab hit f5 so now sheets is also huge so that's how we work with the classes i think um, that's it for the video and in the next video we'll be covering how to use ids Thank you and have a nice day.